Hi there, I'm Walter Evans, a photographer based in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. I'd like today to show you two shoots you can do at home using Interfit Badger Unleashed. So here we go for our first shot, uh, which is for a wine bottle. Uh, what we've got here is we've got the Badger Unleashed um, and a Badger Unleashed over there. We've got a strip box. Um, so on this Badger here, we've got the reflector and then we've got a 10 degree grid. On the backdrop here, we've just got a red piece of card, uh, nice and simple. The wine bottle is just sitting on a piece of black perspex. Um, what we've got here um, is diffusion paper, but you can also use um, like tracing paper. But as you can see there, the light, the, the strip box is, is at a 45 degree angle. So you can see that it's a gradient of light as it comes across. So here we go here, here's the strip box. And same again, there's the, the badger unleashed there. And we've got all this sitting upon uh, a set of sawhorses with a couple of planks of wood and that is it for the studio space as such. We're shooting uh, on a Canon 5D Mark III, 85mm uh, lens and then in the front here we've got a polarised filter and that is pretty much our first kind of setup here uh, for a wine bottle shoot. So let's talk about the bottle here. Uh, there was a label at the bottom there, um, I was basically wrong along here. I've removed that uh, just so we can have the main label. Uh, there is seams on this one which are actually running, um, let's have a look, running through the label, uh, which is a bit of a, an error by myself, um, as I normally get like to have the, the seams running through the side. It does still have the all the, uh, the labels on the rear, um, as you won't really need to remove lane. Now with this one here, uh, what I do is I like to use a little bit of card here, a gold or white side, and just use it to move the light around the, on the label. Because as you can see there, there is a bit of gold leafing going on. There is also some silver uh, in the labour as well. So what you can do is, if you've got a bit of silver card, you can actually try and bring that silver out. But we'll just use the white and gold just to try and bring out some of the, uh, the colours in the label. And that is pretty much the, uh, the shoot for the wine bottle. So what we've got here is the uh, selection of the images that I use to create the uh, the bottle shot and as you can see there I'm using the card to bounce the light around the label highlighting parts uh, which are basically in the shadow of the light. What this is doing also as well is I'm actually putting a highlight down the side of the bottle uh, just to give a bit of separation from the backdrop. But see the card was also using to uh, bring out that gold leaf and the camera settings for this was uh, f9, uh, 125th and ISO 125. Okay, so we've got the uh, second uh, shoot set up here. So we've still got the, the, the badger here and we've also still got the, the badger layer uh, with the strip box. So nothing much has really changed at all. It's uh, still exactly the same as, as the last shoot. So if we go over here. So we've still got the reflector um, and the 10 degree grid on here. I'll just turn it on. And then over here, Different backdrop this time. Uh, this backdrop is a photo board, so it's made to look like kind of rustic wood. Down here, we've got the same again. We've got like a, a photo board down here. Same again, made to look like rustic wood. The beer bottles, um, I'll talk about them in a bit. So we've still got the same again, diffusion paper. Got the strip box and the badger down here as well. 
turn this one on. So as you can see there, you can actually see here with the gradient of light there, 45 degrees. So you can see how it's kind of, kind of getting softer as it comes across. Right, the bottles. Uh, the bottles are exactly the same sort of treatment as you do with the uh, the wine bottle. The only difference is, is you remove the rear labels. Um, these bottles are straight off the shelf, so they come um, as they are. But what I do is I like to choose labels. I don't know if you can see there. The seam layer, and then there's also a seam run layer. I like to have the seams running at the side so you don't have anything running through the middle. Um, it just makes your edit a lot easier. Same again as before, just with the using the, the card, uh, gold and the white. So you, you're bouncing that light back around the, the bottle there. What I also have as well is this little thing here, which is basically just a bit of card. I put behind the bottle and that helps giving you the, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, um, well you can't see it too well in here, but it gives you that kind of uh, golden glow of the liquid as it, the light comes back through it. So that is pretty much the beer bottle shoot. Um, and like I say, you, you're going to have to composite again the images, uh, so you take several shots to actually make one image um, and I'll show you how we do this um, I'll just run through some of the images I've taken on Photoshop and that is that so here we go here this is the uh, the beer bottle shot so you can see it's slightly different using the card there to bring out the uh, the gold leafing that was on this label uh, nice little popping it around don't worry if you actually get the card in the shot because it's a, you can actually use certain parts of the image when it comes to the processing, just picking out the parts that you need and uh, just getting rid of the parts you don't need and that will pretty much make up your whole bottle. Uh, as I was saying as well, I've got the card as well which is used to uh, give you the golden sort of glow behind it as you can see there and that is used as well kind of You've got to angle that just right so you can get the gold coming through this. The camera settings for this, exactly the same as the wine bottle. So this was F9, uh, 125th of a second and ISO 125 also. I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration to get shooting and why not use the Interfit Badger Unleashed.